Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 4th, F Day. I'm Emma, and this is Kennedy Live. In weather, it's partially cloudy, currently 53 degrees with a high of 68 and a low of 51. Happy birthday to Mike Kalecki, Angelina Jolie, and Russell Brand. Have any announcements that need to be read on Kennedy Live? Please send them into the Submit News tab on the Kennedy Catholic website. Physics Regents Review Sessions will be offered from 2.45 to 4.45 p.m. on Thursdays throughout May and June. Please check the Extra Help tab on Blackboard for the specific regions that are being reviewed for that week. If you are playing fall sports, please sign up in the nurse's office today. There will be a meeting of the Kennedy Live team right after Friday's show in room 107, not 109. And now for news with Mike. Good morning, I'm Michael Kasprick, and this is in, your, in, and this is in the news. Our top story today... The American tourist killed by a lion at a wildlife park in South Africa has been identified as a woman from Rye. Family members confirmed that Catherine Chapel, 29, was killed when a lioness attacked her through a car window on Monday. Park officials say she was taking pictures with the window of her car rolled down when the animal pounced. The tour guide in the car reportedly suffered multiple wounds. A few months ago, Marvel turned his existing universe on its head by unveiling Secret Wars, an introducing battle world. Now on the heels of Secret Wars comes another uh, initiative for readers, the all-new, all-different Marvel. Alonso attributes the emergence of all-new, all-different Marvel to the massive success of female-led titles. Notably recent books like Jason Aaron as Thor and J. Will and Wilson's Eisner-nominated Miss Marvel. This emphasis on collective storytelling is how Alonso and Marvel are now looking ahead to the changes facing the Marvel Universe ensuring that the stories of this new universe will be in talented hands. Well, that's all for In the News. Back over to the anchor. Thank you, Mike. Being a Marvel fan, I'm so excited for the new Marvel that's coming out. So anyway, there will be a brief meeting of all girls interested in cheerleading for the fall in the library today at 2.30. Students attending the meeting will be able to ride the regular school buses home. Students who plan to travel to Italy in the spring but have not yet registered, please see Ms. Willis today for updated information. And now for Sports with Brendan. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Brendan with your sports. After a shocking and intense game, the Tampa Bay Lightning lost 2-1 to one to the Chicago Blackhawks. Chicago scored two goals in one minute and 58 seconds. The Boston Red Sox beat Minnesota 6-3, to three, and the New York Yankees beat the Seattle Mariners 3-1. to one. Well, that's all for sports. Now back to Emma. Thanks, Brendan. And now for This Day in History with Dan and that chicken. Good morning. I'm Dan, and this is This Day in History. Today, in 1717, the Freemasons are founded in London. In 1738, George III, the English king, is born. And in 1919, the U.S. Senate passes the Women's Suffrage Bill. Well, that's all for this day in history. Back over to Emma. Thank you, Dan. I'm Emma, and this has been Kennedy Live. Have a fabulous day.